Hey everyone, welcome to another Vue.js exploration. Today we are going to build a classic UI feature, the scroll to top button. But we won't just build it, we'll go deeper and understand how view concepts like mounted, unmounted and rest help us to create components that work seamlessly with any web application, no matter how complex. I'll also explain transition API in brief. So our goal in this video is to have a button that appears when user scrolls a certain amount of distance and on clicking that button it takes the user back to the top of the page with the smooth scrolling. So uh, let's go to the project and build the UI first. So here is my project. It's a blank Vue.js project. I only have Vue.js and then I install Tailwind CSS for styling. Tailwind CSS is not mandatory but it's just my preference. You can use any other framework or just a normal CSS. And I've changed the source directory. I've deleted all the boilerplate code and I just have app.v, main.css with Tailwind, and then main.js with CSS imported and app instance created by default. Before creating the scroll to top button, uh, we need to have a scrollable page. So what I'm going to do is to create uh, three div elements with height of screens for each element. Let me design it. So here are the three div elements. Let me close the sidebar. So I just gave the names top, middle and bottom. And I gave the height of screen for all the three elements. And I just gave the text of 9XL and I'm centering it with different background. If I save it, you can see on the left side we have top middle and then bottom so now we'll create the scroll to top button in the source let's create a folder called components and inside components we'll create the view component scroll to top to get rid of the error we'll just create an empty temp so uh, in order to see what we will be writing here we will import it in the app.view first I'm importing it in app.view because I want this functionality to be available in every page. But if you want this functionality to appear only in a certain page, then you can just mention this call to top in that component only. We will give a fixed position to this button which is on the bottom right side. So I'll just implement it here. Since it has a fixed position, you can write anywhere inside this template, doesn't matter. So let's go to this call to top dot view. So here first we'll create an anchor tag with a href of hash which takes the page to the top. If you see uh, we can see this button on the top left but as I said we'll give a fixed position to this. Uh, before that I just want to use a SVG for this an icon or just the scroll. So I took this icon from hero icons. You can just mention any icon that you are using. Now we'll design this. Okay, the button looks simple. It's good for me. So let's start with the logic now. A simple explanation before uh, what we will be doing. So what we will do in this logic part is uh, we'll create a reactive variable called is, is visible. And then we control the visibility of this uh, variable using the function called handle scroll. First, we'll import the rest from view. Now we'll create the variable using the ref. Once it is visible, it's ref of false. We'll give this by default a negative value so it doesn't appear. And only when we scroll it appears so now we have this and still the button is visible because we didn't assign it to the anchor tag so by using a v if statement we can assign this to the anchor tag v if is visible so now if i save it that should not be visible in the button so it dis disappeared as we expected now to so appear after we scroll a certain distance, we have to create a function called handle scroll. What we will do in this handle scroll is we will get the current scroll position using the page y offset property. 
then we compare it to the threshold that we will keep like how after how many pixels we want this button to appear and once we scroll past that button that distance then we will make the value of is visible to true and that will make this anchor tag appear so let's see it in action we'll check first if the page of city is greater than 500 page y offset is greater than 500 pixels then we need to change the value of is visible to true so for that is visible dot value equals true else if it is not greater than 500 then is visible dot value equals false now this function is there but it doesn't work because we didn't trigger this function here is where i want to introduce the concepts of on mounted and on unmounted we can actually achieve the functionality that we want now itself just by assigning this handle scroll to anchor tag using a click event but uh, that's not the best approach for this because when we have more features or if you already on working on a different project this functionality might in conflict with other parts of your application if you have uh, any other scroll events or other type of events that are linked to this component so we will mount this component and unmount this component properly so we will uh, add and remove this event listeners in the right time so it doesn't conflict with any other in your code base for that first we'll import the on mounted and on unmounted from the so on mounted when on mounted we want to add the event listener okay. when window dot add event listener when it, and we are listening for the scroll event we will write scroll and when it listens for scroll we will trigger the handle scroll function the same way when the button is disappearing we will use the on on mounted and remove the event listener window dot linear event listener and we listen for scroll again and we'll trigger the handle scroll now it works and also using the best practices and right say in the right scenario now we will check if it is working properly or not so we scroll down and we can see this button appearing and we scroll up and we are disappearing and when we click on the button we are going to the top page so two things i noticed here the button is appearing suddenly without any animations and when we click on the button it's taking to the top abruptly so we'll add a smooth scroll when it goes up and we will add a fade animation to this button when it is appearing and disappearing so for the smooth scrolling we'll just go to the main css file and here we just write html and in flower brackets we'll use this property called uh, scroll behavior and write smooth here you save it and now if you go to the bottom and like press this button you can see that it went to the top with a smooth scrolling or not directly to the top so this is figured out now uh, let's check the fade animation for this so for this fade animation i'm going to use the transition api by vue.js so we are not using any external libraries for this animation so how we are going to do this is by wrapping up this anchor tag with the transition component that is provided by vue that's all now we wrap this anchor tag with the transition component and now we will uh, write the styling in the bottom with the fade animation so we'll have a style which is scoped only for this page the scope means whatever the animations that we write here it is applicable only to this component and it does not go for other pages so uh, to explain transition API in briefly, 
uh, it provides us six classes so it works in a concept like this the animation starts when the element is entering the dom and also when it is leaving the dom so here we have the button appearing when it is mounted and disappearing when it is leaving so when appearing and disappearing we will have this effect so for that view provides when it is we enter from we enter active we enter to from which point to which point we want the animation and the we enter active while the animation is happening how it should happen so in code level let me write that we enter active when the animation when the element is entering the dom at the time we want to have this transition of opacity we want to animate the opacity with uh, 0.5 seconds of duration and with the ease animation so this is what happens when it is entering so we have to enter the from and to also so we enter from opacity 0 so it enters from a opacity of 0 and it goes to opacity of 1 by default any element inside the dom will have a opacity of 1 so in this case we don't need to write we enter to opacity 1 because by default the opacity is 1 in the element so now if we save this when the button appears it appears with the fade animation I'm sure you noticed it when when it is disappearing it is disappearing like fast but when it is appearing it's coming with a slow fade animation while it is leaving also we want this animation to happen so for that we have this class called we leave active and since we are using the same effect we can use we can just copy and paste that and here also same we leave to when the element is leaving we want to have the opacity of 0 so now while entering it is entering from opacity of 0 with the speed of this and while leaving it is the opacity is going again from 1 to 0 with the speed of this now if you see if you check the website it appears with fade and it disappears with fade so a uh, small refactoring in this style scope since we are using the same here we don't need to write two times we can just copy this copy and put a comma here and then paste there and copy we can just delete these three lines so now copy. we have while entering and leaving we have same transition the same here while entering some and when leaving it has the same opacity so we can refactor it like this so that's all like we have a button that falls to the top with a smooth animation and appears with the fade animation and disappears with the fade animation Makes well this might seem like extra work for a small feature trust me as your application grows this application prevents unexpected bugs and makes your code much more maintainable. By using views lifecycle hooks, we have built a component that works smoothly with the browser and will integrate flawlessly into any project. So uh, let me know in the comments what other Vue.js concepts you would like to see explained. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe for more web development content. Thank you everyone.